Hello Internet citizens and welcome to another PC Games and Hardware show. I'm Dave. And I'm Jacob. And today we are asking the question, should you spend $300 on a gaming router? With a look at this, the Netgear XR500. Yes, while it might look like a very angry rumba, the XR500 is Netgear's answer to drop packets, laggy connections, bandwidth hogs and a heap of other issues that gamers often run into on their home networks. But is it worth the whopping $300 asking price? Is it? Is it? So let's get into the specs. The Netgear XR500 is a dual band AC2600 router, which means you get 800 megabits per second connection at 2.4 gigahertz and a dual 1733 megabits connection at 5 gigahertz. That's all powered by a dual core 1.7 gigahertz processor with access to 256 megabytes of flash memory and 512 megabytes of RAM. That's double the memory of the usual Netgear Nighthawk lineup. There are also four gigabit LAN ports on the back and a single WAN port. On the side, there are also two USB 3.0 ports to turn any connected drive into network accessible storage, or even to support a network printer if you're a bit of a masochist. Unfortunately, the XR500 doesn't come with a built-in modem. That's a bit of a problem for us denizens of the British Isles, as most internet service providers won't allow you to put your bundled router into modem-only mode. Without a modem built right into the socket, or a standalone modem lying around, you'll need to provide your own dumb internet box at added expense. Yes. All told, these specs are similar to those of Netgear's Nighthawk X4S router, which at only $186 is quite a bit cheaper. So what makes the XR500 special? Is it that WAN port? <laughs> Nope, it's not the WAM port. That would be the software that makes it so special. Powered by NetDoomer's Duma OS, the XR500 features an entire router operating system dedicated to making quality of service and monitoring easier than ever. And it works exceptionally well. The Duma OS software is incredibly concise, clear, and easy to understand. Once you're all set up, you're greeted by the dashboard full of customizable and resizable widgets for all the various features of the router, each with its own helpful pop-up informing you just what the widget does and how to set it up. It's easier than ever to apply bandwidth allocation per device, so you can limit certain bandwidth heavy devices, or people, especially people, on a whim. You can also allocate traffic priority to certain applications, such as games, so that they always get right of way in your network. And one of the headline features of the Duma OS is geo-filtering. This allows you to limit where in the world applications, namely games, can search in order for a server to connect to. Say you are searching for a server in Battlefield, but you end up half the world away with triple digit ping, geofiltering aims to keep that to a minimum by restricting how far afield a game can check for servers at a networking level. And while it does work, we found that it wasn't actually all that useful for us PC gamers. Where console users might be able to benefit from the feature a little more than us, PC tends to deal with a lot of that server-side stuff right in the software. Plus the supported games list is a little too short for our liking. And that brings us on to whether we think you should go out and spend $300 with your hard-earned money on a gaming router. Yeah, if you are a console gamer, then the extra granularity in network settings and features will likely make up for the lacking in-depth networking settings available through your chosen console's menus. Unfortunately for the Netgear XR500, we here at PC Games End don't give two hoots about console gamers, and realistically, the Netgear XR500 just isn't quite convincing enough. Our PCs can do most of that prioritising for us anyways. While the Doomer OS blows most rival router software out of the water, the operating system's premium just isn't worth that extra mammoth price tag for us PC gamers. We can get along pretty well with just one of these. And neither really is the hardware. You only have to take a look at Netgear's own lineup to realise you could get quite a bit more for your money if you're willing to ditch the Doomer OS. The almost identical Nighthawk X4S is nearly $100 cheaper, and you can even pick up the X6S router, which is a tri-band AC4000 that's better in almost every way for $230. If only Netgear could reduce the associated cost of the Duma OS and start implementing it across the board, now that really would be a game changer. So if you like what you've seen and heard today, give us a like and subscribe down below. Also let us know down in the comments whether you would invest in a gaming router yourself. Yes, would you? Should you? Anyway, check back on PCGamesN.com for more from the world of PC gaming hardware from the two of us. And also everything you will ever need to know about the world of gaming from the rest of this lot. Thanks for watching. Cheers.